Hi, the purpose of this recording is to show you how to visualize supplement of a set. According to David Brennan's text, page 25, a uh, row number M is the least upper bound or supplement of a set E belong to row number if M is an upper bound of E and if M prime less than M, then M prime is not an upper bound of E. In this case, we write M equal to sub E. I am going to show you how to visualize the supplement of the following five sets. E1 is a set consists of 1, 2, and 3. E2 is a set consists of 1 minus 1 over n, where n are natural number. E3 consists of all the real number from 1 to 2, excluding the endpoint. E4 consists of all the real number from 1 to 2, excluding 1. E5 consists of all the real number 1 over x, where x between minus 1 and 1. Let's look at the first set E1, consists of 1, 2, 3. We can use a number line to visualize the set. So I'm going to indicate the element of E1 on the number line. The first point is 1, so I indicate on the number line 1. Then the second point is 2, so I indicate on the number line 2. And then the third point of E1 is 3. Indicate on the number line 3. 3 point on the number line. What is the least upper bound of supplement E1? The least upper bound of supplement E1 is 3. 3 is greater than every element in E1. And you cannot lower it down. Because once the lower number 3 is it is no longer an upper bound of E1. Notice that this time M is equal to 3, so supplement of E1 is 3, and it also lies in E1. Let's examine the second set. E2 is a set consists of 1 minus 1 over N, where N is natural number. Natural number means N equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Let's write out what is E2 here. First, when n equal to 1, you get 1 minus 1, you get 0. When n equal to 2, you get 1 minus half, you get half. When n equal to 3, you get 1 minus 1 third, you get 2 third. When n equal to 4, you get 1 minus 1 quarter, you get 3 quarter. When n equal to 5, you get 1 minus 1 fifth, you get 4 over 5. And this the list continue. infinite number of them. If we try to mark this element on the number line, the first point is 0, then half, then 2 thirds somewhere here, then 3 quarter, then 4 over 5, then 6 over 7, then 8 over 9, then 9 over 10. In fact, there are infinite number of points on the left of 1. So, what is the least upper bound or the supplement of E2 now? Okay, so I can write here supplement of E2, it must be 1 since 1 is greater than or equal to everything in E2 and any number less than 1 is not an upper bound of E2. Since the set E2 doesn't contain 1, so the supplement of E2 is not in E2. Let's look at the third example. E3 is a set of real number where x from 1 to 2. I'm going to draw a hollow circle at the point 1 and draw a hollow circle at the point 2. 
The circle is hollow because the point x equal to 1 and 2 are not included in the set E3. So E3 consists of all these numbers from 1 to 2 on the number line. So what is the supplement of this set now? The supplement of this set is obviously 2. Since 2 is greater than or equal to every element in E3, obviously any number less than 2 cannot be upper bound of E3. So I can write supplement of E3 is 2, but this is not in E3. Let's look at the supplement of the set E4. E4 consists of all the real number x greater than 1 but less than or equal to 2. So you can write this as a half open interval 1 to 2. Now all these points, you can indicate this on the number line, consists of a hollow circle at the point 1 and a solid circle at the point 2. Since a solid circle indicates that the point is included, and then I join them, these are the points belong to E4, and the supplement of E4 is equal to 2. It is obvious that 2 is greater than or equal to every element in E4. And it happened that this supplement is also in E4, so this time belong to E4. Finally, let's look at the set E5. Consists of all the 1 over x, or x between minus 1 to 1. This is a little bit hard, so I have drawn a graph of y equal to 1 over x here to help you visualize. Notice that I draw the graph of x equal to minus 1 to 1. So at this point, when x equal to 1, y equal to 1. At this point, when x equal to minus 1, y equal to minus 1. So from the graph of 1 over x, we find that all the y are greater than 1 or less than minus 1. So therefore, no value of 1 over x lies between minus 1 and 1. So what is actually a set E5? So E5 is a set from minus infinity to minus 1 union 1 to infinity. So it is a union of two open interval. Notice that 1 and minus 1 are not included in E5. And so I'm going to draw a hollow circle at minus 1. So all the real number from minus infinity to minus 1. And then from 1 to infinity, excluding 1. So I'm going to draw a hollow circle, 1 here, then number line all the way to the right. So, is there a number greater than or equal to everything in E5? None. No number is greater than every number in E5. Since no number is greater than every element in E5, so supplement of E5 doesn't exist. In summary, let's look at our example again. You'll find that in the Five example. The first one, supplement of E1 is in E1. Second set E2, supplement of E2 is not in E2, whereas in E3, supplement of E3 does not belong to E3, where supplement of E4 belongs to E4. Supplement E5 doesn't exist.
I hope this video help you to visualize supplement of a set. That's the end of the recording.